Well, hello everybody. I hope everybody's doing well today and that we're all surviving through this time of um, isolation and separation from everybody. But I just wanted to come and encourage you and let you know that, you know, this too shall pass. I'll have to excuse my beautiful hair today. Uh, it's a bad hair day, so I just stuck it on my head. But um, I just wanted to come on here and read something this morning to you that I uh, found very encouraging and it was very appropriate thus being it in uh, Matthew and uh, chapter 6 and it says that in verse 25 the actual heading of it is says don't worry which is very easy to say but you know faith comes by hearing and by hearing the word of God so I'm going to share uh, the scripture with you this morning and so that you can hear once again and be encouraged that you know God is for us he knows where we're at and what's going on so in Matthew 6 chapter 25 it says this is why I tell you to never be worried about your life for all that you need will be provided such as food water and clothing everything your body needs isn't there more to your life than a meal isn't there more to life than your body and your clothing look at all the birds do they think they worry about their existence they don't plant or reap or store up food yet heavenly father provides them with food aren't you much more valuable to your father than they so which one of you by worrying could add anything to your life and why would you worry about your clothing look at all the beautiful flowers in the field they don't work or toil and yet not even Solomon in his splendor was robbed in beauty more than one of these so if God has closed the meadow with hay which is here for a short time and then dried up and burned wouldn't he provide for you the clothes you need even though you live with such little faith so then forsake your worries why would you say what will we eat or what will we drink or what will we wear for that is what the unbelievers chase after don't doesn't your heavenly father already know the things your body requires so above all constantly chase after the realm of God's kingdom and the righteousness that proceeds from him then all these less important things will be given to you abundantly. Refuse to worry about tomorrow, but deal with each challenge that comes your way one day at a time. Tomorrow will take care of itself. Now, I know that sounds very easy and simple words, um, but sometimes it's hard to walk that out. But I just want to encourage you and remind you that God really does know what your needs are, where you're at, and what you're going through and he is the one who will be faithful towards you and I really believe that um, endurance is the thing that we need to lean towards at this time and in James uh, 1 verse 3 for you know that when your faith is tested it stirs up the power within you to endure all things and so I just want to encourage you when your faith is tested and we're going through these trying times and things are happening that are seem to be totally out of our control. Let's just trust God during these trying times. It says that you it stirs up faith is tested. It stirs up a power within you to endure all things. So God is promising that you have the faith you need and it's stirred up within you when you're tested. And so I want whatever's inside of you to come out. Believe God that he is faithful, that he promises he will supply all our needs, that he makes crooked paths straight, that when you seek him, you will find him, that he is our provider. He is the one who leads us and guides us. God has not changed throughout this whole ordeal. But circumstances have, things have, but God hasn't. And him knowing your needs three months ago, he still knows what your needs are today. He hasn't changed. And so I just want to encourage you, when pressures come, endure, endure, and look for the faith to be stirred up in you. Stir up the faith of God. Stir up the word of God. I keep going back to reminding us that this is the year of the mouth and proclamation. So proclaim. Declare the promises of God over your life. Declare that you are healed in Jesus' name, that your needs are supplied, that he is your wisdom, he is your portion. 
He is your sound mind. He is the one that stirs up your faith and he is faithful to his children. So I just wanted to encourage you today and let you know that we're continuing to pray for you. I know some of you have um, had bad news like losing jobs or displacement of things and stuff going on. But you know what? I want to encourage you once again, stir up that faith and keep believing God is faithful and he will do what he needs to do to supply your every need to give you what you need in your time of trouble and spend time with him because the more you seek him you know you will find him and he will give you the peace the love that passes all understanding through this time we love you guys and we will be praying for you if you have specific prayer needs please go and uh, on the web page and click on prayer requests and put your request, prayer request down there send it it comes directly to me and we will pray for you every day and also if you uh, want to continue giving you can do the same thing on our web page go to the giving page and you can give online you can give on text and um, we really appreciate those being faithful to the church and um, how God has not only been faithful to you but he's been faithful to the church and that's awesome and uh, we just thank him for that and, 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 and are praying that God supplies every need according to his riches in glory for you and your household and everybody in it. Amen. So we'll see you again soon. I hope you have a blessed day. And until I see you again, keep the faith stirred up in you and proclaim that this is the day the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Bye-bye, everybody.